going to be auctioned off for charity for what we hope is a really large amount of money but before we get into that come and check this out So we are on 600 acres here, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no internet, so I imagine I'm going to get a lot of work done <laughs> over the next couple of days. There's a bit of pressure when one of your artworks is going up for auction. And if you think too much about the money, you might not take risks within the artwork. So for this painting, I really wanted to start it in isolation, in a place that's detached from everything and is incredibly inspiring. See if I can show you this beetle. It doesn't run away. Check this out. Have a look. It's green. Very green. Bless you. Nom, 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 nom. So I've gone the wrong way, but today we are going to see the animal that I'm going to be painting in this artwork. Turn left, then arrive at your destination. Oh wow. Sorry. <laughs> That's alright. All right. Rain a little so how old? Uh, so these guys are about seven to eight months old. Seven to eight months old, right. Yeah, so they still like the pouch. Do they um, like to be pat? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they still still love the pouch. Um, but at this age, they would start to come out of their dens. Yeah. Um, but mum would still be bringing food to them. Um, they wouldn't be out scavenging themselves yet. So yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not until about 12 months when they start to fully wean themselves. You can see the ears very red. Yeah. And super chill. chill yeah, out. little they're babs not, are. They're yeah. normally pretty chill, especially when they're in the pouch. If we let him out, he'd run. Yeah. And so what about the bigger ones? Are they, they probably wouldn't like to be held Not, as Not as um, much. Yeah. They, yeah, they're, they're fairly solitary themselves. 
Um, yeah, so we've got two down on display that are last year's Joey. Okay. Uh, and they don't mind the keepers. So I'm pretty sure that this guy here really wants to eat me. Thankfully, there's a fence here. Otherwise, I might be McBreakfast. It's been awesome. So painting the little devil, I'm thinking of other animals that I can include in the piece that are not going to conflict with him. I've seen a couple of incredible Australian birds over that side. And I'm really motivated to paint an alligator, but obviously in this piece, that's not going to work. Um, but definitely for something in the future, I want to paint an alligator, alligator, uh, alligator or a crocodile. They're so beautiful and fierce looking. This has been awesome. Now to head back home and get to work. Now this is always the fun part, trying to fit all of my art gear inside here. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Actually, let me just quickly show you guys this venue before I start. Look at this. It's a castle. How amazing is that? Excited. With each artwork that you do, I really want to learn something new and try something different. And being able to do that and also support Aussie Ark, an extraordinary charity that's doing wonderful work to support the bushfires throughout Australia, I guess is, is a privilege that I'm honored to have. John says, well, we've got to do more. At the charity auction, my artwork was not completely finished, and to have it raise that much money for Aussie Ark is such an honor, and I was just overwhelmed by the support that. It was fantastic to just slowly spend my time perfecting this piece and delivering it to its new home. Some